Hello everyone and welcome back to Later Daters, a game where you're old and you date people. I, I don't know, it sounds ridiculous but it's been good so far. Where did we leave off? Oh, we, were, we fell over and now we're in the hospital. So that's great, that's so much fun. Okay, so much for my doctor's advice. He said a retirement community would be better for my mental and physical health. Yeah, right. Look, your doctor wasn't going to predict you falling over. That's your own fault. That was That's all on you. It's only my first day. I'm in a wheelchair. Our oh, nurse doesn't even get a face. That's sad. And look at these two idiots as they're staring at me and laughing at me. And use a wheelchair, Forrest, to keep your ankle elevated. Oh, footrest. I'm so dumb. Pushes your wheelchair out of the infirmary. I didn't say I wanted to leave. I'm in a wheelchair and K9 is missing. What a terrible day. Oh yeah, K9 is my robot dog. Well, it's just a robot. But I was torn between having a dog and a robot, so I kind of had both. What? Oh. 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 Wait, one of these we wanted to date. I think it was the guy on the right. He was the, like, bad boy singer type. What is going on here? Why is that lady... I... What the hell's going on? Blair dangles some cards taped to a string like a toy and calls out. Oh, is everybody looking for my pet robot dog? That is so adorable. Canine loves your singing, Jax. Maybe they'll come to s the sound of your beautiful voice. Uh, okay. Worth a shot. Singing. Oh, canine. Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I can't I can't sing. Home. <laughs> oh that was so bad. Wow, they're all trying to coax K9 back here. That is so sweet of them. Bee boop. Oh K9. My loyal robot thing. He's not been loyal, he's been running away all day. Rolls up to Jack's bopping to the song. See yeah, it's a bop. Automatically. That's the one we're going after. We're going after Jack's, decided. Then scoots over to Blair and gleefully rips up the cards. Finally spins over to a cushion and collapses onto it. This little gear has been running away all day. He doesn't deserve all this. Wow. Thanks, everybody. She's got a dark secret. The one on the right. So we're looking out for her. But that Jax is the one we want. Or maybe or maybe Blair. He's a bit of a bad boy as well. No problem. But you still owe me for the cards. Winks. Ooh, shit. Finally, somebody else will have a chance to win at poker. Ooh, he's a cheater. That game's not at people, hopefully. Hands you a smiley face sticker. It's an RFID chip. I don't want no dumbass sticker. You turn over the sticker and see the chip on the back. What's it for? Stick it on your robot and it will track them. Oh, I don't want to do that. It sounds it sounds mean. Well, I know how stressful it is to have a wandering loved one. Oh, is your husband trying to leave you? Oh, no, wait. He he has some sort of memory problem, doesn't he? You bend down and stick the chip onto K9's head. Now I'll never lose you in again, K9. Why on top of his head? He's going to look like a Muppet. I wonder if Haran has Alzheimer's. I think wandering is a symptom. Oh, no. This game's going to be sad, isn't it? Searching the World Wide Web. Confirmed. Oh, no. People with Alzheimer's disease often experience memory loss, altered reality, impaired judgement and wandering. I thought this game was going to be silly and fun, but I'm kind of sad now. Uh, not the time to get sentimental. No, I want to go bang some old people. I don't want to look at old photos. Pull out a cookie tin. My fuel. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a box of condoms or something. Oh, okay. He plugs himself in. That's a bit TMI, if I'm honest, K9. We sure met a lot of people today, like Jax Argo. Can you believe we met Jax Argo in person? We're going to do a lot more than just meet Jax Argo. Trust me. It's so incredible that he lives here. And he's sad I could come by for an autograph. We're gonna go by for more than an autograph. Trust me. This is gonna be the theme of this episode. Maybe I should do that now. Yes, 100% a booty call in the middle of the night. There's still a couple of hours before bedtime. I have time for a visit before calling it a day. Opens the to cookies. Beep boop. No, you're not coming. You stay here. Right, Kim. Let's go offer him a cookie. Then offer him our cookie. That was too much. I apologise. That was one too far. It'd be nice to bring these to Esther to thank her for welcome her to you. Oh, no! No! I should tell her about Crystal's strange phone call. I want to get to know her better. Oh, yes, let's gossip. I love a bit of gossip. Check on Crystal. Just bring her cookies. Oh, we're not minding our own business. Let's go check on her. And there's Blair. I owe him. I have no idea what, when, or how he plans to collect. Oh, now that is a Wattpad fanfiction if I've ever heard one. Uh, I should stay away from him, but I like games. Let's find Blair and play. Oh, oh no, do we? Yeah, uh, but I like games. Let's find Blair. Let's go. There were a cup of tea when Marina also has eyes. Oh my God, make up your mind. Who should I visit? Crystal, Esther, Jax, Blair. Oh no, oh, this is too tense. I don't know. I want to know more about Crystal's dark past, but I want to have sex with Jax. So it's a difficult decision. I'm going to go... Oh, but Blair's also a bit of a bad boy. Oh, I'm so... I don't know. I'm going to go to Jax. Honey, Sharpie, and your Jax Argo gold lame hits record. You knock on Jax's door. Hi, huh? Remember me, Olive? Yeah, we met today. There's like, there's only seven of us here. How, do, how would you forget? I'm a big fan, and you said I could come by for an autograph. 
you can literally hold out the record. No, we don't want to come off as a fango. We want to be that bitch, you know, that doesn't care, you know? That's the vibe we want. Oh yeah, Olive. Sure, as soon as I'm done, my medicinal smoke. Jax walks off down the hall. Hesitate for a second, then follow him. What? He just walked away. Lights are joined and inhales. Oh shit, he likes to party. So there's your plants. What are you treating? Insomnia. <laughs> no. Um, oh, I don't know. So there's your plants. Shoots you a sexy half smile, amused by your surprise. Oh hell yeah, this is so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And determined I wasn't an old stoner trying to get baked. But I mean, let's be honest, you are though. Jax takes another take and exhales slowly. He doesn't say anything else. Is he going to offer me some? I miss my baby more. So you wanted my autograph? What baby? Oh, why does everyone here have a secret past? I guess if you get to that age, everyone has one. Oh yes, hands in the Sharpie and album. Signs the album cover. Hands the Sharpie and album back to you. Good night, Olive. No, 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 no. Oh, good night. Jack's Argo, XOXO. Oh, damn. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe he just left us. He walked away from us, smoked, signed it, and left. Damn. Oh, yes, we are still getting some news about Crystal, though. I don't know, Liz. But I need some earplugs. I'm worried about what he'll do. But I have to show up if I don't. What if he comes here? Oh no, she's not being abused, is she? This is this sounds bad. What if who comes here? I knew Crystal was annoyed with whoever kept calling her, but now she sounds scared too. No, this isn't good. We've got to protect Crystal at all cost. Is a mysterious caller dangerous? I feel safe here so far, but okay, I will. No, we're gonna save her. We got we got to protect Crystal. Ask Crystal. We'll talk to her. We'll say we're here for you, girl. We got you back on site. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, we've done the first episode. I didn't realize it was gonna do it like this. Good morning, Olive. Hand to you. Oh wait, he he speaks. I didn't think he spoke. What? Absolutely not. Oh, more phone calls. Damn, Crystal. I can't believe you'd. And the downside to community living is there's not much privacy. That's bad for her. I want to know what's going on. I'm nosy. Though Esther would consider that a benefit too. I bet you want to know all about this. Bruno is gone and he's not coming back. Or maybe I'll go see if Crystal's okay. What should I do? Keep listening. Keep listening. We need to know more. Don't come here. Not until you. That's unfair. Don't you dare threaten. No, Dale. Dale? Who? I thought it was Bruno. Who's Dale? Bee boop. Kayline, not now. Check on Crystal. We want to We want to get involved in this. You knock on Crystal's door, but there's no answer. Crystal left just a moment ago. Oh, what? I would have heard her. You seen, You turned to see Mariana, Jackson, Blair pushing a dolly of supporting equipment. So I just missed Crystal? Yep, she busted out of there like a mob was on her ass. Weird way to put it. I want to make sure she's okay. Oh, oh, I'm not sure if you're spending all our news. I know I want to gossip, but I don't want to be mean. I have heard her talk to someone on the phone and she sounded upset. You sound like Esna, listening in on people when it's not your business. Oh, I'm sorry, Blair. No, don't mind her, Blair. Thank you, Jax. His knickers are still a knot over Esther calling 9-11 when he was arguing with his sister. She called 9-11 over that. Half-sister. Really? That's the bit that you're upset about? He just called you out for having the police called in your room. She's like, oh, my half-sister. And sometimes people just need to fight without busybodies sticking their nose where they don't belong. I kind of get that, but also I want to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Olive, maybe it's best to leave Crystal B for now. You can always check in with her later. Well, obviously I'm not going to chase after her. Why don't you come have some French press coffee with us? Oh yeah, yeah, sounds- uh, yeah, I'm going with you guys. Two of my best boys, all in one place. And Mariana, I guess she is cool. All these old farts are obsessed with this sport that we're setting up apparently. Are we gonna play a game? Oh hell yeah, we'll beat all your asses. Jax is just bitter because he's got bad lungs and bad knees. Ooh, damn. Blair is not holding back. So we can't get Rock the pick pickleball caught like this hunk of raw masculinity. Okay, I see you Blair, trying to show off. Poise a thumb at himself and winks at you. Oh, they're also flirtatious. Are they just all into me or are they all just like that? Yep, years of dissipated living catching up with me. Not that you know anything about that, her king. I'm pure as a nun. Wow, I bet. And we all know the importance of a good cardio. Keeps the heat between the sheets. Hell yeah, we need to know, we need to let these boys know what we're about. Woo wee, Olive's got the right idea. Hell yeah, I do, Blair, we're on the same page. Ooh, the sweet, sweet smell of fresh press, fresh print, fuck. <laughs> sweet smell of fresh French pressed coffee. I got there eventually. Oh, he's got a flask. I like Blair. I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of get him. Starts to pass you the flask and pulls it back. Wait a minute, you still owe me for the deck of cards. Oh, I was hoping you forget about that. I want booze in my coffee. I don't care that it's 9am or whatever. I'd call it even if you come to card club and bring something real good for the pot. Okay, I, I will. Yeah, don't do it, Olive. You'll lose a shirt off your back. I do not mind that if I'm around Blair, I'll be honest. 
No, you haven't, but if you bet your clothes, Olive, we'll take him off you. Oh, hell yeah. I'm kind of changing my mind. Blair's, Blair's doing this. Sure, I'm, I'm feeling lucky. Sweet, see you in the dining hall after lunch. Hell yeah. Looked pretty good. I saw you and Jack's having a smoke in the courtyard. And you didn't come say hi, asshole. You were there for 10 seconds, signed it and left. I didn't want to interrupt if anything sexy was going on. Thank you, Blair. Respect. Smart move, Blair. I didn't feel like sharing him. <laughs> Can we have both Blair and Jax? Is that a possibility? Meow. <laughs> I love this game so much. I don't buy for a second that Blair didn't want to interrupt. What were you really up to? I may have snuck out to the Duke's whiskers to have some fun. Oh, you should have invited me. Speaking of sneaking out, I saw Esther heading over to Hades a couple nights ago. Hades? That sounds like a strip club. Looks like she and her ex are still bumping uglies. Esther sneaking out to hook up with her ex-husband? Damn, and she's keeping us all on lock. Good on Esther for getting some while the getting's good. Oh, hell yeah, girl. She sat next to her phone waiting to hear from Bandejo for two weeks. Oh, that's not good. She needs to hit it and quit it. Don't be oblivious. Esther doesn't sit by the phone for her own kids. Ooh, all right. <laughs> She's Tonta for that man. I don't know what Tonta means, but that sounds bad. Well, I for one think we should all have as much sex as we can before we kick the bucket. Hell yeah, Blair. This game doesn't hold back. It's not beating around the bush with what it's saying. Like, it literally just outright sends sex. He raises his mug to a toast. Raise his mug. Hear, hear. Yes, hear, hear. Cheers to kinky eye contact. Hell yeah. Um, let's make eye contact with Blair right now. Hello. Cheers. Clink your mug against everyone else's. And cheers to Olive. Joining car club. This is going to be fun. Yes, it is. I think I'm changing my mind to Blair. Friends and enemies, the game is Texas Hold'em No Limits. I don't know how to play cards. Is that important? Let's hope not. Oh, why not? I'll throw in $10 too. 100 chips to the lady with the pretty blue eyes. Oi, you look away. Oh, I can see her looking at my man. How, how dare she? Little chips, just like in the movies. What fun. No one cares, Crystal. I bought a, D I bought a DVD set of Golden Girls Season 2. I've got my underwear. I'm willing to play with it. No, I mean play, like play. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, Olive. Ooh, ooh, money or a painting? We'll do a painting. That sounds fun. Paying in trade, huh? I guess that's worth seventy-five chips. No, it's worth a lot more. I will paint nude. What? It's worth more. I used to charge hundreds of dollars for a painting. Olive is really talented. I've seen her paintings. I don't remember being a painted artist. I'm, oh, maybe that's a pass I chose. Fine, a hundred chips. Or turn chips into paintings and nude. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'll do. T I'll do nudes. Oh, I'm so on level with this game. Fine, deal me for 200, you old pervert. Yes, let's see his dong. Sorry, I'll, I'll set it on silent. If you don't want to use it, you could throw it in the pot. <laughs> what would you do with an old lady cell phone? Go through your messages and see what's going on with your life. <laughs> I can think of at least 11 things. I don't know how to play cards. I don't really care. I kind of want to lose if I get to paint Blair nude. Oh, back to me again. I could raise stakes and try to scare the others or I could keep checking going. Paying my debt to Blair probably means throwing this game, even if I get a good hand. Hurry up, Olive, or one of us will die before we play first hand. Hold on to your sideburns, Blair. I'm going to... I have no idea. Raise. I have no idea what this means. Now that's what I like to see. Uh, raise. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. Newbie's a big spender. Fold. These cards are shit. Get out of here, John. No one cares. Raise. Oh, that pile of chips are getting big. Oh, am I just putting more and more money in? So it is, Blue Eyes. Stop flirting with Crystal. No one likes her. Raise it. Do. Again, again. I'm feeling lucky. I'll raise too. Can't argue with that logic. Raise. Oh no, we're going all in. Raise. I don't even know what I'm doing. Are you going to bark all day, little doggies? Or are you going to bite? Oh, hell yeah. We are feisty. I love it. I bite. I mean, cool. Although, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is too much fun. You don't admit that, Crystal. You keep that shit to yourself. Oh, if you've got guts, I'll give you that. Cool. See, he's impressed by us. We don't want to fold. Damn it. Bye luck next time, champs. That's the way the cards fall. Two king. Four of a kind. Is that good, Mr. King? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I do not like this energy going on between Crystal and Blair. Crystal's got her own shit going on. Hustler becomes a hustled. Get fucked. Hey, I'm the first to admit when I've been hustled. My hat, my hat off to you, madam. I gotta say, Crystal, I'm surprised. And a little turned on. No, get out. Get out, Crystal. No, get out. No. Oh, just get another phone call. Sorry, I gotta take this. You bust all Yeah, get lost. Hmm. Third person I ever met who knew the old Sammy Johnson trick was a crook from Newfoundland. Holy moly, Crystal's on the lam. Where'd that leap of logic come from? From his ass. Get out of here, Vera. I think he's onto something. Secret phone calls, showing up with just a suitcase and a ton of cash to burn. The poker playing. Crystal owes someone big money. Maybe gambling debt. Could even be mafia. I, I think he's right. They can make some extra cash at Dukes too. Oh yes! I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna keep going. 
economy people is how you pay rent? And sure doesn't cover cigarettes. John clutches his chest, gasping for breath. My smoker's lungs aren't that bad, John. John struggles to breathe. John? John? Oh no, John! He's having a heart attack. Call the ambulance. Oh my god, no. The paramedics burst in and run down the hall with a stretcher. This way, he's in the dining hall. Holding John's hand. John, buddy, stay with us. You all watch, shell-shocked as the paramedics put John on the stretcher. Suddenly, the other residents burst in. Blair! Clear the way, please. Everyone steps back as paramedics race by with their patient on the stretcher. Why does the end of every episode end with someone getting injured? That's not Blair. It's John. As the sirens fade in the distance, everyone fell silent for a moment then. I'll notify John's next of kin. I'll contact the hospital. I'll clear his internet history <laughs> off everyone's looks. What? Nah, Blair's right. That is one of the main things you got to do. He's a true buddy. I hope you all do the same for me. I will, Blair. We would. Olive? <gasps> Uh, yeah? That debt you owe me for running my lunk lucky deck. Oh, I totally forgot about that. No, oh, please. Oh, what is it? Settled the moment you sat at the poker table. Oh, good. See, he's a nice man deep down. I like him. You just wanted to know where squared. Blair saunters away. Oh, Blair, wait. Oh, so they... Blair, wait. Yeah, Olive? You okay? Your friend just had a heart attack. We need to be his shoulder to cry on. He needs to come to us at all times, night or day, especially night. Though if you're offering to cheer me up, I won't say no. Are you putting the moves on me right after your buddy had a heart attack? I don't care. Respect. All the more reason not to waste any time. Seize life by the horns and all that. Because you never know if you'll get another chance for that sexy new resident. Oh, hell yeah, blah. Okay. No, I'm not into you. You make a good point. All right, show me your moves. Yes. And show you another kind of old Sammy Johnson. Ooh. <laughs> Don't make me change my mind, you old perv. Let's talk more action. Got it. He leans in to kiss you. <gasps> oh my god, are we actually gonna kiss him? Leans in to kiss him back. <gasps> oh wow! Oh my god, look at that. We are going for it in the middle of the hallway. Okay, I think we're gonna call it a day there. That this has been such a good episode. Oh my god. We actually getting with Blair. I thought we we're gonna go after Jax, but we're not. And someone had a heart attack and crystals in with in with the mafia. What the hell is going on? This game is amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like, please leave a like and subscribe. I mean so much from me and the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.